Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be going around the Santa Monica Pier and doing sort of a photo walk with this film here. This film is the double film Solar. It's a pre-exposed roll of film that has 36 exposures. It's 200 ISO. And the reason for it being pre-exposed is because it holds light leaks already in the film. So light leaks are often seen as a camera fault, uh, which the camera can produce if there's an issue with the camera on the back uh, where it opens and light can seek in onto the film. But this has actually already had those added onto it. So the photos that you're gonna be taking, you're gonna have these unique, different and random light leaks that will appear on the photo. So I thought, where better to test this than the Santa Monica Pier? So there will be links down in the description of this video where you can actually purchase and find out more information on Double and the films that they do actually create. They create a load of different pre-exposed films for 35mm cameras that have different effects like texture, this one solar and other ones that affect different light leaks too. I'm going to go ahead and load this roll up into my 35mm Pentax Program Plus and then we're going to go ahead and explore the Santa Monica Pier and let's see what photos we can get. Alright guys, so it's a few days after we recorded the video in Santa Monica with the pre-exposed film. I'm basically going to be going over some of the negatives that I got back and some of my favourite images and some of the ones that I thought had some really cool light leaks and different features that the film provided. So basically the film that I got back, I got developed from Paul's Photoshop. It's a local Photoshop uh, around where I live, but they did have a malfunction when they did actually develop my film and it coming out of the machine actually got jammed, so that's why some of the uh, images have these little tears or little marks on them. I'll put these images on the screen. There's a few here that I've noted that have uh, the biggest ones. But other than that, the images actually did come out good. So I've laid out some images here that are my favorite. I'll have them playing over me talking right now, but these are basically the, my favorite images that I've got uh, from the film and the day out at Santa Monica. I thought these show the coolest effects and also just the coolest captures from the day out there. It was really fun using this film. It's really cool to use something different than uh, black and white or just uh, regular color film. If you're looking for a challenge or just to go try something new, I definitely recommend picking this up. There's a loads, loads of different types of film that they have that's pre-exposed. I'll leave the link down to their actual website in the description below. If you guys do want to see more videos like this, just put it in the comment section below. I have a few coming up, uh, a few more different types of films that aren't color and black and white. So if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure to just comment it down below and then like this video and subscribe if you guys are new around here. And I'll see you guys next time.